let us understand what do we mean by work. When I use the term work, work means what? Just take an example, a boy is studying. Can I say the boy is doing some kind of work? Yes, why not? A man is riding on a horse and shooting. Can I say the man is also doing some kind of work? Yes, of course. A boy is using a computer. Can I say the boy is doing some work? Yes, of course he is doing some work. A person is dancing. Again the person is doing some work. A person is playing karate. Again the person is doing some work. That means work has different different forms. But how do we define work? Let us understand students how we are going to define the term work. When we have to define the term work, let us take an example. Let us consider that there is a point, I name that point as A. There is one more point, I name that point as B. At point A, I place an object that is a duster. I want to move this duster from point A to another point that is B. When I want to move the duster from point A to point B, just by looking at the duster, I tell the duster to go. Will the duster move? Of course not. If I want to move this duster from point A to point B, I have to apply some kind of force. When I apply some kind of force, the duster starts moving from point A to point B. Can I say that the duster has moved certain distance? Yes. This distance covered by the duster is called as displacement. That means whenever we define the term work, we require two quantities. One is force, the other is displacement. So let us understand what is the relation between work, force and displacement. We say that work is equal to force into displacement. A very simple formula. Am I right? Yes. Work is represented by the symbol W, force by the symbol F and displacement by the symbol S. So the formula becomes W is equal to F into S. It's a very simple formula for work. Having understood about work, let us understand what are the different different types of work. When we are talking about types of work, the first and the basic type of work is called as positive work. Students tell me one thing, we all have played football, yes or no, right. When we have played football, let us take the example of the football to understand what do you mean by positive work. When we kick the football, can I say I am applying some force with my leg? Yes. And the football is moving in the forward direction. When the football is moving in the forward direction, can I say the football has covered some distance? This distance covered by football is called as displacement. And to displace the football from one point to another, I have to apply some amount of force. Can I say I was applying force in one particular direction and the displacement also occurs in the same direction. Remember, whenever force and displacement both are in the same direction, it is called as positive work. The second type of work that we are going to study is called as negative work. What do you mean by negative work? Let us take an example of a rocket. We all know when the rocket has to move upward, the rocket gives out a lot of gases in the downward direction and the rocket moves in the upward direction. That means the displacement occurs in the upward direction while the force was applied in the downward direction. Can I say displacement and force both are in the opposite direction. This type of work is called as negative work. And the third type of work that is called as zero work. Now let us understand what do we mean by zero work. A very interesting example. Let us consider that there is a school bus. On the school bus, there is a small child sitting. And he is trying to apply some force on the school bus in the downward direction. Tell me, by applying force in the downward direction, will the school bus sink into the ground? Of course not. But can I say the school bus will move in the forward direction? Yes. That means displacement occurs in the horizontal direction. 
the force was being applied in the vertical direction